Good morning. Welcome to Kilat Shari Torah's daily review of Hilchas Pesach, the laws and customs of Passover for Monday, April 11th. Uh, last uh, couple of points that the Kitzur Shonarach makes uh, with regard to the Seder have to do with uh, a, a forgotten or lost afikomen. Uh, this, can, this is a risk now you're running if uh, you allow the afikomen to be stolen and they forgot where they put it. So what happens? Let's, uh, here, here's what he writes. If the afikomen was lost and you still have matzah left, of those that were made specifically for the mitzvah, in other words, uh, mat, uh, matzah, hand shmura matzahs that were made less shame the uh, uh, mitzvah of eating matzah, you should eat a kazayis of that, a uh, olive's worth, uh, so about a third of a uh, round matzah. Otherwise, you should eat a kazayis of any other matzah. You do what you, you work with what you can. Now, what happens if a person forgot to eat the afikoman? If you remember after saying Birkat Amazon, even though you already washed your hands at the end of the meal and you said Rabotai Nevarech, come friends, let us say the blessings, you could still eat the Afikomen, you don't have to say Hamotzi. And even though you had not intended to eat anymore, this doesn't constitute what we call Hesach Hadas, diversion of the mind, since it's your obligation to eat the Afikomen. And you were sitting at God's table, you have to do what, uh, what the mitzvahs uh, demand. So you weren't completely distracted. Nevertheless, you should wash your hands without a bracha. Funny little uh, note here, because it's a uh, it's a uh, suffix, it's a doubt if you need to do it again. Uh, don't say al until sidaim if you uh, and then you can eat your afikomen and then you can go back to birkat hamazon. If you ha- didn't remind yourself until after birkat hamazon, that case was before birkat hamazon. This is after. Before saying Borei Perei over the third cup, you should wash your hands again without saying the bracha, recite the bracha of Hamotzi, eat the afikomen, say Birkat Tamazon again, and say the bracha over the third cup. But if you only remembered after saying Borei Perei Hagafen over the third cup, and you go, oh my gosh, we didn't eat the afikomen, drink the third cup. If on other occasions you're accustomed to recite Birkat Tamazon without a cup of wine, you should wash your hands, eat the afikomen, say Birkat Tamazon without a cup of wine. However, if you are scrupulous, I know one person like this, uh, and you always say Birkat Amazon over a cup of wine, now you can't do it because you'd be adding to the four cups, which you're not allowed, then you should not eat the afikoman, but just rely on the matzah which you ate before. Here's a simple solution to that. Follow the steps of the Haggadah. Before you do each thing, look in the Haggadah, read out the steps, read the instructions if you need to, and remind yourself of uh, what comes next. That way you don't wind up in a situation of... um, Having forgotten something, you have to make up, go back, everything else. So that's uh, applicable to, uh, to all the steps of the Haggadah, really, from uh, <coughs> washing uh, for the initial uh, hand washing all the, uh, without making the bracha until she died for the karpas, as we discussed, uh, as well as uh, several other things. Okay, so that's a, a handy tip. Just follow the Haggadah step by step. Even uh, put a little paper clip in the edge of the page. Remember where you are, keep your place, and that will certainly help. Okay, have a happy and kosher Pesach. Join us again tomorrow. We will continue talking about uh, uh, various laws and customs of the holiday. Have a good day.